Okay, okay, I figured it out. Simple mistake. Uh, I don't have the cube selected. We add this to the sphere, which is on another layer. Let's just remove this. Choose the cube to make sure you have the correct item chose. Chose, chosen. And then we're going to link the script to that. Sorry for that little confusion. But a good thing I made that mistake so that in the future, spacebar, if you make that same mistake, maybe you'll realize it. Of course, that's not the first time I've done that. Make sure you have the right object selected. So now we have that link to this script down here. Really don't need these test prints anymore, but I'll leave them in for right now. Let's see. P spacebar. Hey, we got the sphere. And actually, um, it's adding. I've hit spacebar a few times now. And uh, you only see one sphere. That's because they're all going to the exact same position. So how can we see that there's multiple spheres? Well, real quick here, I'm going to go back to this sphere. And I'm going to create a new script here. So I'm going to hit this little plus button. I'll just call it move. And uh, I'm going to use a script from an earlier video. I'm going to say import. Under game engine. I'm going to say controller equals blender game engine dot logic dot get current controller and really as I said we could probably even skip that and say owner let's see if this works if I was right saying that earlier it did earlier, so I would think it would. So now I can say owner, which is our sphere object, local position with a capital P, I'll set a capital S, dot Z plus equals 0 0.1. So now with the sphere selected, this time we do want the sphere selected, we're going to say always, we're going to say pulse mode, we're going to say script and we're going to choose our move script. Link these here, press P and our sphere goes up. Kind of look uh, kind of grayed out there, that's because there's no lighting source on this layer. We'll go back to this layer now, if we start this up and press spacebar, you can see that when I press the spacebar we create new objects. Now if I want it to continuously shoot and currently it's running the script twice, once when I press the button, uh, the key down, and once when I let go. But if I hold down pulse mode here, I can now press P and hold down the key, and you can see I can shoot a whole bunch of those. It almost looks like it's growing, but it's actually just adding a whole bunch of spheres as the one that was just added moves up. So I'll save this Blender file, I'll save this script, and I will post them both online. Check out the links in the description for those files. Um, also check out filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon uh, to help support the site. And I hope that you have a great day. Yeah, so like, filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon is a great place for me to search for stuff that I like to buy and help support the site, dude. Yeah.